The Italian capital is welcoming an extensive exhibition with artists from the time of Caravaggio. The exhibition includes a total of 150 art pieces, painted between 1595 and 1635, brought from countries like the United Kingdom, Holland, and Slovakia. Here you can see the San Augustine, which was recently attributed to Caravaggio and will be shown for the first time to the public. In Rome, there were many other artists and movements. It seemed wise to expose them to rebuild the Roman artistic atmosphere of the time and also to do justice to these artists who, in one way or another, have been overshadowed by Caravaggio. The exhibition begins with two paintings that are similar in theme and share the same title, the Madonna of Loreto. The first was painted by Annibale Caracci and shows a classical composition, while the second is an example of the Baroque style of Caravaggio. And it was precisely Caravaggio who began a more naturalistic flow through the style called chiaroscuro, modeling its use of the lower classes for their characters. Annibale was the leader of classicism in Bologna. His models are those from painter Raphael, the structure and the ideal of classical beauty. In this work, it follows the traditional rules of illuminated faces, the construction of the same scene, and the trend of iconography. It's very different from what Caravaggio does, which was always innovating the sacred history. The influence of both artists is reflected in works such as Susanna and the Elders by Artemisia Gentileschi, The Virgin and Child with Saint Anne by Carlo Serracini, and The Musician by Francesco Boneri, who innovated painting as a young man by offering a currency directly to the public. Caravaggio and Caracci also influenced artists in other countries, such as Rubens from Belgium or Valentin from France, who is the author of The Allegory of Italy. The artist drew two children representing Romulus and Remus and two elders, symbolizing the Italian rivers of the Tevere and Arno. From the year 1630, development was made above all by the classicists who were ultimately born from Caracci and the Baroque. The two dominated throughout Europe until the end of the 17th century. The exhibition is open until February 5th, however the influence of Caravaggio will continue in another exhibition planned for March of 2012 by one of his most successful students, Carlo Saracini. And I like to do business management in future because I want to build my own business empire. I want to be a karate man.